Okay, let's see. Uh, Pavel says, uh, K, a question. Do you use market or limit option when trading? Um, I don't really use the limit orders or the pending orders when I take a trade. And the, the reason is because um, sometimes you see the market breaks. Let's say in the five minute, the market breaks it. And then soon it retraces backwards. And most likely when it retraces backwards, that will be a fake out. Most likely the fake out happens when there we have I wave. Bullish. Not any wave, not the engulfing breakout, but just the spike one bullish N wave, uh, one bullish I wave, sorry, I wave, and then the market may retrace backwards, is relatively higher. So in that case, I don't want to buy at the breakout of the resistance or support. I want to see how the market is breaking the resistance or the support in terms of the candlesticks, in terms of the multiple time frames, the lower time frames, and also the indicators. Um, at the breakout, you may not see the dead cross of stochastics yet, and then it might be fake, or the stochastic might be gold crossing at the time of the breakout, and then it may be fake, the market may reverse, and when it actually happens, your pending order will be executed, and you will be in a loss. So, I want to trade manually, is this reason. Yeah, I want to see how the candlestick are moving for the breakout direction and how it breaks is very, very important. Yeah, and this is also based on my experience. Uh, I used to use pending orders a lot because I thought it saves time and I don't have to stick to charts all day. Whenever the market breaks it, it triggers and the market goes up was my expectation. But uh, yeah, it happens. Sometimes market goes towards my direction after the breakout, but sometimes it reverses and the reverse, reversing losing pips are much more than the profits overall. And that's why I decided not to use it, but instead um, check charts and take trades manually. Yeah, and if I'm away from the chart and if I miss a breakout, then it's just fine with me. I can just come back sometime later and uh, you know I can start to look for and uh, set up to trade. So after I started not to use the pending orders, limit orders or uh, stop orders, my mind became much much in peace. Thank you for watching the video until the end, but before ending, let me briefly share with you one important concept of mine as a pro trader. That is, I am not focusing on one single trade result, but my main focus is a result over time. Because most of the traders only focus on one single trade result or a couple of trades results, whether it's a win or loss, and they tend to get emotional from trade to trade. And they don't really focus on the result in a long run. So remember to focus on your trades results over time, at least for a month, and don't get emotional by a result of one single trade. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I keep uploading a new video or as I do the next live. So I wish you a great trade success on your way and I hope to see you on the next live or video. Alright, so until then, stay gold and またね。